Welcome into the BSN Nuggets weekly breakdown presented by Frosted Leaf. Frosted Leaf, Denver's most innovative dispensary, has the hottest strains, no lines, no weight, and a self-paced direct shopping experience that allows a fast yet comfortable transaction without the awkwardness of a waiting room. I'm Allie Monroy and alongside me is BSN Nuggets beat writer Harrison Wind. We did not plan on matching, but I guess great minds think alike. I guess so. If you <laughs> want one, hit up bsndenverlocker.com to get your shirt. Well, the Denver Nuggets have started the season 3-0 and and have held all three opponents to under 100 points for the first time in franchise history. Harrison, what is the mood in that locker room right now? These guys are so united right now, Allie. It's been awesome to see. It's been awesome to watch up close and personal. Paul Millsap had a really profound quote after the Nuggets' latest win over the Warriors. He said there's no egos in this locker room right now, and it's fitting because typically in the NBA, your team takes on the identity of your best player. The Nuggets' best player is Nicole Jokic, and we know he has no ego. Everybody's fallen in line behind him. Nobody cares about the stats on this team right now. Nobody cares who gets the praise. They're all united as one, and sure enough, they're 3-0. and Well, Denver's defense is what won them the game on Sunday against the Golden State Warriors. Are you at all surprised on their performance so far? A little bit. I mean, we heard about the hype throughout training camp. We saw it a little throughout the preseason. I don't know if anybody expected it to carry over to the regular season like this, but Denver's 3-0. and They've held all three opponents under 100 points. They only did that once last season. And they have the best defense in the league through three games. Um, it starts with Paul Millsap. Yeah. He's the defensive player of the year so far in the league through one week. I don't know if this will keep up, but this is obviously a great start. It starts with him, but Nicole Jokic, Gary Harris, everybody's playing well. Everybody's connected at the hip on defense, so it's great to see, and nobody's happier about how they're playing on defense than Michael Malone. Well, on the other side of the court, it's been the Nicole Jokic show. On Saturday, he became just the second player in NBA history to record a 30-point triple-double without missing a shot. And then he had a double-double on Sunday. Harrison, what has been most impressive from his start? I think it's been him coming out and being as aggressive to begin the year as he was last season. We've spoken about the stretch he had to end last year a lot over the summer, a lot throughout the preseason. That's how he's played at the beginning of this season. He's been aggressive in looking for his own offense. We know he's always going to make the right play, but he's been doing that while establishing himself as the number one option, as the guy Denver can throw the ball to when they really need a bucket. So that aggressiveness that we saw at the end of last year, that's carried over this year. And finally, what's the update with Will Barton? Yeah, it looked like a potentially serious injury that he suffered against Phoenix. He'll undergo surgery this week. Timeline, he could miss five to six weeks, maybe 18 to 20 games. So it's a big injury for sure. Will Barton's a huge part of this team. In his place, like what happened against the Warriors, expect Torrey Craig to continue to start. Juan Turin on Gomez will continue to play consistent rotation minutes as well. Well, the Nuggets now welcome the Sacramento Kings to the Pepsi Center on Tuesday, and they then travel to L.A. to take on the Lakers on Thursday. So be sure to follow all of our game coverage on bsndenver.com. For Harrison Wind, I'm Allie Monroy, BSN Denver. Come check out Frosted Leaf's three Denver locations and download their app on both Apple or Android. You can also follow them on Snapchat or Instagram at Frosted Leaf Brand.